Miss Morris, is this your first trip to Dallas? No, 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 no. I love Dallas, and I know Dallas for a long, long time. I opened the Dallas, the Palace Theater, and I hired Alex Keys. You know Alex Keys? Yes, I do. He's yeah. my boss. Well, I was his boss. <laughs> uh, Mr. Morris, I know you've had a very interesting life, especially the past few years when you were a counter-spy for the FBI. You said a couple years, you said? Uh, it's quite a few years, I think, is it not? Ten years. Ten years. That's right. Uh, sometimes we think that uh, communists are just a bad dream. Are there actually communists who are mingling with the everyday people in America today? Look, young man, I want you to know America has no enemies but one, and that's communism. Soviet Russia is the enemy of the United States, and what we have to do is to eliminate communism of the world. Then we'll have peace all over. Is there any way that we can tell whether a man is a communist? Oh, yeah, you can tell very easily by speaking to him and by finding out if he is the, a disciple of the pseudo-religion of Marxism, then he is not our man, and he's not American, and he's not for America. And we have to eliminate all pseudo and all kinds of communists. In your life as a counter-spy, you came in contact with many communists, I'm sure. Do they uh, follow one particular pattern? Is there one class of people that are, have more communists than others? Now, I'll tell you something funny. That the, the communists, don't. The, the only thing they don't respect is weaklings. And the next thing they don't respect is poor people. All they want to get friendly is with the richest people in the world. That's the funniest thing. The people who are supposed to patronize poverty and poor people, they are those who patronize rather the other way around. But they are, they are, they don't follow one line, and you cannot see by which line they follow, because it's a pseudo-religion, it's a pseudo-belief whatsoever. They, they are not our kind of people. They don't patronize, and they will never understand the American form of life. Are the communists making inroads on our way of life? They tried, but no more. Now I would say that only one-tenth what it used to be. However, there is still one thing. 